Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Premier League's new Hall of Fame inductees, Arsenal news, transfer rumours and what Mikel Arteta has said on the remaining 10 games. Firstly, a big congratulations to Arsene Wenger and Sir Alex Ferguson, a huge achievement and we have all seen this coming sooner or later as they have battled it out for the better part of almost two decades. Arsene Wenger on his induction into the Premier League Hall of Fame. To share this with Sir Alex is a great honour for me. It's like two boxes. You fight like mad and go the distance together. At the end of the day, you have respect and it will be a great opportunity to meet with him. Share a good bottle of wine and memories of our old battles. Mikel Arteta has also said some things on Arsene Wenger being inducted into the Hall of Fame. He says, I don't think any other managers have had a more impact. Some managers have brought different ideas, different characters, different competitions. He opened the Premier League to the world in a different way to other managers. He had a vision that was much wider than the other manager had at the time. England and the Premier League have to be very grateful forever for this man. As we all know, Mikel's love for Arsenal and his motivation for becoming a manager was due to Arsene Wenger. As he exclaimed, I had a dream to play for this club that was because of the way Arsenal played. It was so attractive. I had phenomenal time with him. He pushed me as well at the end of my career to become a coach. We had conversations and asked him what he would do in my position because I had doubts in my career over whether I wanted to continue my journey as a coach. He helped me at the club and at the academy to do the badges and again he was an inspiration. Just an example of how much he loves the club, Mikel and Edu were in attendance as Arsenal women defeated Bayern Munich women to progress into the semi-finals for the first time in 10 years. That's a massive achievement and let's hope, let's hope we are on that trajectory from next season onwards as we have already secured Champions League football. Let's go to some injury news now. As we know, Thomas Partey seems to have had a thigh injury or a thigh issue earlier this week with Ghana. He was due to come back to London Colony yesterday for a checkup. Videos today showed that he was participating at training. With that, I take it he'll either start or be on the bench as the worst case scenario. I believe this was a preventative move on Arsenal's behalf. William Saliba, according to Chris Whitley, says the defender is expected to be out of action for two weeks or potentially less. Let's hope for us he is back and he is back and in the starting lineup for as soon as the games against Leeds. Mikel Arteta has had a say on the remaining last 10 games of the season. I think it's going to be what we do every single day. That's what's going to decide our outcome. We cannot control the outcome of other clubs. What we can control is what are we going to do every single day, how we behave, train, communicate, the message that we send to our people as well. Now it has been about enjoying the last part of the season with enthusiasm, energy, with real hunger to do and continue to do what we have done and if possible, better. A few legends from the Emirates era have also had a say on our chances to the title. Mesut Ozil has said, I wish the best to the Arsenal fans who have always been supportive of me. I would be happy for them if they could celebrate the Premier League title. They deserve it. And Robin van Persie has also had a say on this. He says, if you look at this period of time, this is where every single point really counts. They've had a couple of difficult games. They've got three points, so that's what a champion's team is made out of. If only we had brought in one or two players during their time with us, we would not be waiting 19 years for this Premier League to come home. Knock on wood. Now on to transfer rumours. There seems to be a list of potential players to cover Bukayo Saka next season. The five players are 
Michael Olisi from Crystal Palace, Ferran Torres from Barcelona, Jared Bowen from West Ham, Samuel Ealing Jr. from Juventus, and our own Marquinhos. I believe Marquinhos should go on a loan in a, to a Premier League club, just so he can get some experience, because if we're fighting for titles, we need players who are ready to jump in and do what not do exactly what Bukai is doing, but do what Trossard has done, for example. So from them five players, my picks would be either Ferran Torres or Jared Bowen, as they have as they are Premier League proven. Torres has played under Mikel during his time at Man City, and Bowen seems to be a Trossard type of signing where he can play on both wings and through the middle. There are still talks of Declan Rice with the standard stating that Arsenal's number one target this summer and there is growing confidence at the club that they can win the race to sign him amid competition from Chelsea and both Manchester clubs. With an acceptance at West Ham, he will leave this summer. They also state that Arsenal are attracted to Declan Rice as he could operate at the base of midfield or as a number eight. Rice's character also suits the culture Mikel Arteta has built and he becomes and he comes with glowing reference for his work ethic and leadership qualities. So now that we have gone through all of that, I, I believe Declan Rice would be a good signing for us. I also believe if we're going to take one of either Jared Bowen or Ferran Torres, I would say... Ferran Torres would be more ideal as he has worked with Arteta and the expectations is already there. Now that we are hours away from the game against Leeds after this international break, my predicted lineup is going to be fairly similar to what we have done throughout the whole season. Um, we have... However, the only change that I see happening is Saliba coming in for, I mean, sorry, Holding coming in for Saliba, as Saliba is reportedly still injured. So let's see how, let's see how that that works out for Arsenal. So the lineup would be Ramsdale in goals, Ben White right back, Zinchenko left back, Holding Gabriel holding the centre backs, Party and Jaka. Odegaard just up ahead and we have Bukayo Saka and Martinelli out on the wings. I still believe it's a bit too early for uh, Gabriel Jesus to start. I believe Trossard has been has been doing exceptionally well there and uh, I, I don't think we should move him one un, we, we shouldn't move him until he starts losing form which hopefully it doesn't start anytime soon as him and Martinelli have been creating chances together, working together, and that that chemistry is really, really helping us. So I will, I'll, I'll speak back. I'll come back to you after this Arsenal game for for a quick review and to see if there's any more news available. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.